Oh hello Wild Ones, I'm here today because I thought it would be fun to see what happens when you have to have an emergency bivvy bag camp in the rain. I use the term fun loosely of course. <laughs> I thought this would be a great exercise to do in case I ever found myself in a situation where, for example, I've just put my tent up and it's blown off the edge of a cliff and I'm stuck halfway up the mountain in the dark with no way to get down and just my emergency bivvy bag left for shelter. As you can see, that's Landy in the background. I'm doing this really close to my car. Just in case this goes wrong, I've got no interest in getting hypothermia for the sake of a video. So if it goes wrong, I'll have an easy escape back to landing. So the bivvy bag that I've got for this little experiment is the Outkick Cloak. The reason I've chosen this one is because it's got a really big coat at the top and it's got a zip. So effectively, I can zip myself into it. Not entirely, because I don't want to suffocate. But I think this has the best chance of being a tolerable bivvy shelter in rain. And it's supposed to be completely waterproof, of course, but time will tell. All right, let's get my stuff in it. So for my sleeping bag today, I've got my Leviathan OEX 900. Reason being, I don't want to ruin my RAB sleeping bag. So the Leviathan's going to take one for the team tonight. Thanks, Leviathan. So that's my booby bag all set up. It feels really cozy, actually. I'm wondering if I attach some paracord to this little hook thing here up to this branch. Maybe it might hold it out a little bit. Okay, let's get in. Ah. Ah. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm totally in now. It's not bad actually, it's quite nice leaning up against the tree. So my thinking with this thing is that if I pull it, just sort of pulls it up off my face a little bit. And that works pretty well. But for now, you don't need that hood on. I'm going to put my boots under my rucksack. Hopefully they'll stay dry-ish, although to be fair, they're already wet anyway. So my clothes definitely have to stay dry. They're going in there. And what it can also do, if it's really heavy rain, is zip myself in. Like this. I mean, you want to leave a little hole to breathe through, of course, but that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Can't get me now, rain. Woo! Got rain! <laughs> I love it! This is cool. I wonder if this baby bag is truly waterproof or not. You'll find out. You know what's not a good sign is top of this baby bag feels wet inside already. Not like dripping wet, but ooh, damn. Seven o'clock currently, so about 12 hours to go. But this is nice, sitting here like this, because I can have this open, this tucked under, and no rain comes in. Oh look, a friend. Hi friend. It's fine, fresh air. I'm gonna try and put my coat on in here while I'm in here. Because if this does let any water through, it's just another layer of protection for me. I think anything to get me through the night. But I don't know if I'll be able to put it on while I'm in here. Let's try. Oh, you know what? I need to get my hair out of the way. Do my nothing. Right. My hair's vaguely in a plait. That's one less thing getting tangled all about in here. Think about getting this coat on. Okay, put one arm in. Alright, let's see if we can get the other arm in. I can't tell what I'm doing because I can't tell if I'm touching my sleeping bag and my coat. What's going on? Oh god, okay. Two arms in, shoulders in. Oh, got my coat on. Okay, that's better. 
I won't do it up because I'm actually really warm. What's the temperature at the moment? Seven degrees. It feels warmer than that though. Weird. Oh. It stopped raining now, so having a little respite from the bivy bag. I have to say, I'm really, really warm. I don't know why I'm so warm. It's the warmest I've been camping in ages, ironically. And I've got no hand warmers on the go at all. Well toasty. I'll even see some stars again now. So I think after that first downpour, having a feel around inside, I am completely dry. Yeah, so far so good. Top of my hat. It's very slightly damp, but that's it, it's no bother. The stars right now are absolutely beautiful. No, I could not be more content right now. I can't. off my face tonight. Mm. Hi guys, it's quarter past 11. Haven't done much filming because I'm literally just sitting in a bag. <laughs> it rains now and again and I just top under the busy bag, it's been fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and get some sleep now. I'm not sure how I'll sleep like this, but I'm really comfy and I'm still really warm and I've still not had to use any hand warmers yet which is amazing so I'll see you in the morning or maybe a bit later on. Bye! I've actually had such a lovely night in here. I've been so warm and cosy. I've stayed completely dry. I think I've had a good few hours sleep. I know I had a few hours solid at one point because I could tell from how far the stars have moved that I'd had a nice chunk of sleep. Yeah, it's actually been totally magical just being under the stars and whenever it rains, just popping into my little cocoon. I really, really enjoyed it. I actually put off doing this camp for ages, like for months, because I thought it would be horrendous and uncomfortable and unpleasant, and I didn't want to do it. But actually, it's been one of my favorites. I find it so weird that I can have these crazy camps for the tent that are really stressful <laughs> and annoying, and then I can have such a beautiful time in a bag in the rain kind of crazy. It's starting to rain again now. So I'm going to get this packed up and get on my way. Yeah, this bivy bag has done absolutely incredible. I really love it. Let's get me stuff out. It's got food bag, completely dry. It's my batteries and stuff like that. It's completely dry. That's my clothes. Those I'm not wearing, totally dry. I did cut this cord down in the end because it was annoying me dangling in my face but apart from that it did work pretty well actually and I think that would work well if you hooked it onto that bit up there and then hung it from a tree above well, I haven't got a tree right above me but I think that would be really good 
So if this had been that situation where my tent's blown off a cliff and I'm left with just my emergency booby bag, I'd be absolutely fine. I actually can't believe how fine. So yeah, it's really cool actually because I'm always saying when I do daft stuff, oh, don't worry guys, because if it goes wrong, I've got a booby bag, so I'll stay warm and dry. And now I know that I actually will. So let's have a look and see what state the sleeping bag's in. It is damp. In fact, it's wet down here. But I've stayed completely dry. You can see from my leggings, hopefully. Matt, weirdly, looks soapy. I don't know why it looks soapy, but the mat is also wet. It's not drenched, it's a bit wet. Again, it hasn't affected me. It is 5.2 degrees this morning. So the fact I was able to stay warm and cozy in there, it's quite amazing, really. I'm quite impressed with that. All right, you guys, I'm all packed up. I'm gonna get this stuff back to my car. So it turns out the booby bag wasn't waterproof. It let water through, but that didn't affect me at all. I still stayed lovely and warm all night. So in a survival situation, if I had to, that would be absolutely fine. This has been a really great experience, guys. Thank you so much for sharing it with me, and I'll see you again soon.